Hey everybody and uh, welcome back. Once again I actually figured out what to do. What I had mistakenly done is uh, now that I found all the extra notes and stuff I can call Jerry back. Even though the instruction manual says when you're stuck to call him. But earlier when I tried I hadn't found those notes so Hmm. Okay, let's make sure we've read all the... That's weird. I swear I read that earlier. Hello? Jerry, it's me. What's up, Michael? Do you know anything about the previous inhabitants of this house? Not much. Just there were some strange individuals. There's also the murder. I you're kidding me. A murder? An old-fashioned murder. You'd probably love the details, but sadly I don't know very much. It's old history, really. Although it caused quite a stir there in Rothbury. It seems the owner, James Blackwood, I think, went mad and killed his wife. I do remember the date, though. May. 1963. James. James Blackwood, according to the stuff I've been reading. Oh, so you're already turning the place upside down? I should have thought so. There's enough material for a whole series of stories here, you know. After you finish your book, my friend. Yeah, yeah. But it can never hurt poking around a little. Would you just get back to work? Call me if you need anything. All right. Goodbye. So, um, I'm going to look through back to my other videos and see if I read that book. I swear I had because I remember picking it up. But maybe it wasn't one on a recorded because I still I think I remember reading it out. Maybe it glitched or something. But now we have a date so we can go get the newspapers. Just strange. Mr. James Blackwood, distinguished resident of this town and widely knowledge construction engineer, was accused of murder yesterday by Miss Eva Marani, Mariani, maid of the Back Blackwood family, which is the uh, photographer, by the way. While the nature of the situation is of the most unusual, given that Mr. Blackwood is a highly respected gentleman, Miss Mariani, an Italian immigrant and aspiring photographer, mm -hmm, affirms to having a photograph that supports this accusation. I knew no one would ever believe me, so I took a picture of him, she says. I was supposed to be in town during the afternoon, but I didn't have the need to. I mean, I didn't have any errands to do so. So I was in my room and saw this shadow out in the garden. When I can't see the window. I just couldn't believe my eyes. The lady! Oh God, the soul! Thought of it! Sent shivers down my spine. The photograph in question is in possession of the authorities, and it has been revealed that it clearly shows Mr. Blackwood burning a shape in the garden. We can almost confirm the shape is a barter, says Police Chief William Bailey. But even if the image is not clear, this along with Miss Mariani's statement is enough to open a serious case against Mr. Blackwood. Police officers are already heading to the Blackwood Manor as we speak. Up until this accusation, it was believed that Miss Catherine Blackwood was on a trip. According to the information we see from the school where she teaches, the police chief continues, a notice was sent to the teacher's department which stated that Miss Blackwood had to leave on a sudden trip and that she would make use of her license to do so. Miss Mariani's accusation puts Mr. Blackwood in a very compromising situation. If we can't find anything in the garden, he has a lot of explaining to do. The efforts of Dr. Christopher Milton, one of Rothbury's most respected doctors and longtime friend of the Blackwood family, to minimize, minimize the facts that have been unsuccessful, and the news is subject of discussion throughout the whole town. Hundreds of rumors are crossing the land, they range from plausible and well-conceived to wild crackpot ideas. But the question that 
keeps lingering in everybody's mind for which the answer has yet to be found is, why would a wealthy and educated man go heartedly murder his wife after 30 years of marriage? Why indeed? Let's go check. More time has passed. Seven PM. Oh look, it's time to go to bed. It's seven, it's not on late. Even people that know they work early and want to go to bed that early. What is that? What the hell's going on here? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That's not supposed to be there. Easy now. That was a dream, but now we're waking by more noises. Scratching noises, hence the title of the game. I want to see what time it is. Let's go back before we finish this night. I don't think it, I want to say that when we try to go outside, it won't let us, but. Twelve AM midnight. <laughs> Should have known. I can never hear the scratching noises. I don't know if you guys can or not. So you can't get through without a light. So we might as well go back to bed. I know what I have to do. Now we know. Of course, like you said, you can't do anything about it right now. Second day. We have completed the first day. 
And we won't be able to go outside this t on this day, just to let you know. See, fear storm. This is another good track. I don't like it as well as the first day. It's called Rainy Mystery, but I still like it. What time does this guy get up? 9 a.m. Hello. Michael, how are you doing over there? The sky is falling here. You mean this storm has hit there too? <laughs> Seems the entire universe is falling here. I'm afraid to go outside. Well, the better then as I won't be able to come for you. I'm deeply sorry, but it's seemingly impossible driving to Northumberland. Even less getting anywhere near the manor. I understand many of the roads are closed. So much for my hopes of seeing Mr. Electrician today then. Ah, the benefits of being away from society, eh? I should have listened to you. Don't panic. I'll come right for you, as soon as this thing is over. You just hang on in there. It's not like I have any other choice, do I? I'm afraid not, my friend. This storm has the power to disturb the dead. Well, it seemed like this very same storm has awakened the evil spirits resting inside my new home. What's that? Not sure, but I happen to hear some... Odd sounds last night. Kind of scratching noises down in the basement. I do remember the cleaning lady saying something about rats. Unless we're talking about mutant rats here, I don't think that's the problem. Michael, my friend, you were tired from a long trip and stressed about the problems you found there. On top of that, you had moved to a very old house. Guess what's the most common complaint from people moving to old houses? Ghosts on the loose. <laughs> So, let's, we're also going to have to go get the safe open, which leads to more, but it doesn't do anything, but I always like to just, for story purposes, in a way, as of what most people probably do, if it was a real situation, is now that we have daylight, investigate the basement. Last night in the dark. Let's go to the safe. Now we can the combination. I don't remember off the top of my head. I wasn't really paying attention, but because I think he automatically does it, I don't think you have to enter it in manually. That is, I'm not gonna read that. It's just about the work on the bridge. Aha! What did we find here? Key. I'm really, I don't know why. Maybe because it was, it was key. I know that, but. It made me randomly think of that uh, Ed, Ed and Eddie episode where they find the key and they start blackmailing the rest of the kids for it. Like, they said that they, they like have the, what they want to come get it. They're trying to get money off of it. And then they're being chased by uh, bees, I think it is. Either that or the cankers, I'm pretty sure it's bees. And uh, Ed reaches into his pocket and he finds out his key is hidden. Eddie, Eddie's like, Ed, you idiot, this is your key! Which is just totally yeah, because that's a dumbass, but that's what made me think of. Uh, 
another key. Unfortunately, we can't use it quite yet. These are the blueprints I meant. That's first floor. Alright, this must be the second floor. Nope. Hold on, where is it? There it is. Looks like there's a strange room right there. Here's Michael's room. Here's the bedroom with the safe. Hmm. Now that's just strange. I'm sure can't pick anything else up here. Hammer. So there's a can top in here somewhere. Yep. Nothing. Now this is easy to miss. You have to keep going up until you get here. Now we have grease. That can's dirty, so let's clean it up. Oil, hmm. Well, okay, cool. Let's oil up the lantern. Uh oh. Oh no, it's rusted. It doesn't seem we have anything that can take care of the rust, but can we pierce it? Well, it's not much, but at least it's some. So let's cut there. We need that. I mean, can't get it from here. Move away. Pick it up. So that door is now open. Really quick, let's just go ahead and come in here while we while we're up here and we have the item we need. Over here. Looky looky. And that fixes the stove. We don't need it to the end of the game, but you know that just that prepares it. And now we don't have so much stuff in our inventory. What time is it? How long? Ah, uh, I think I'm gonna go a little over on this video one time to show you how to get into the room. But it's not gonna take much longer to get in there. So we can't get in that way. Let's see if we can hear anything. Nope. Thought that you could, but I guess not. So. How are we ever, ever going to get in there? No, 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 no. Stupid stairs. This way, these stairs. 
That's open. That's open. There we go. We broke that up with the hammer and we lowered the rope. Can't get it from here. Ah, here we are. And you barely see it in this corner here. He does it anyway. Give time to read this down here. Yeah, with it raining, that you would probably slip and fall. And the music in here is pretty sinister. But. We'll stop it here. Let's go ahead and save. Before I forget. And that should do it, folks.